But first tonight, Lakeland turning off facial recognition. The city's downtown development authority had that feature as part of its new security camera system. Uh, thanks for joining us on 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Frank Wiley. And I'm Courtney Robinson. The city installed the dozen plus cameras, they said, for public safety. However, critics felt that the enhancement pushed the boundaries of privacy, even in public areas. When the program was approved, they added facial recognition, and they say that that was never mentioned. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser explains the attention civil rights organizations are giving and the reason the city is now disabling Big Brother. Well, when it comes to cameras in the downtown area, most people agree there's no expectation of privacy and it could help prevent crime. But when it was learned that those cameras were now scanning everyone and saving that data for up to a month, well, that raised concerns. It definitely is too far. People visiting downtown Lakeland weren't the only ones who raised questions about the facial recognition software that the city's downtown authority confirmed it was using. Cameras scanning the downtown area for what the authority described as trespassers and troublemakers. People want to uh, just relax out here and with, the, with them knowing that it's facial recognition, it's, it's absurd. You know, after 30 days, it's gone. Um, if you're not doing anything, there shouldn't be any concerns. But that's not the way the American Civil Liberties Union sees it. Within days, the ACLU released a statement saying real-time face surveillance poses a massive threat to our civil rights, that other cities have been unwilling to deploy it, and that Lakeland should reverse course immediately. There might be a little bit of a safety issue, but it destroys our freedom. The LDDA, which also got pushed back from at least one city commissioner, now says it will no longer be utilizing the facial recognition feature. The organization didn't say when it turned off the software, but in a statement cited threats of legal action as the reason, saying the harmful effects of pointless litigation that the LDDA cannot afford outweigh the small benefits that facial recognition would have provided. That's a good thing, I think, because uh, they're starting to invade people's privacy and stuff, which is not good. The Downtown Development Authority says at one point it had loaded three photographs into the system as people of interest. Those photos, they say, have now been removed. In Lakeland, Eric Lasser, 10 Tampa Bay. In all, the city of Lakeland has 13 cameras in its downtown surveillance network. Although they say the facial recognition feature has been disabled, the cameras are still functioning and continue to collect video images that can be stored for up to a month.